Hi, seven college nerds. <laughs> it is Sunday. And yeah. It's pretty awesome. Cause you know, it's it's warm out. It's really warm out. See look at that. Look at that. It's only March and the snow's already melting. <laughs> oh, spring is coming early here. Usually doesn't happen until May. Uh <laughs> So yeah, uh, this is the uh, first week of the Hunger Games month that we are uh, celebrating, which is pretty awesome. Um, so yeah, uh, one of the things we're supposed to do this week is figure out what district we would be in, you know, if we were living in Pan Am, you know. <laughs> That's kind of a hard question, um, because a lot of maps are really different from each other. Um, yeah, I mean, there's one that has me kind of in between 6, 7, and 8. Um, another that has me firmly in 4. Another one that has me on the watery edge of 9. Uh, one that has me in nine, and one that has me on the very border of nine and ten. I, I don't know which one's right. Um, I don't know. I guess I guess four would make some sense because I'm living on Lake Superior and everyone around here is, you know, very much a water person. I mean, one of our main industries around here is shipping. <laughs> um, we have, you know... A natural harbor in Superior and a uh, awesome man-made harbor in Duluth and yeah so that's that's kind of what we do so I I guess I can be District 4 I mean it also helps that uh, my area used to be a swamp and before it was a swamp it was Butter Lake Superior and yeah, there's so many lakes around here. It's it's not even funny. <laughs> so, way to go, four. We are also supposed to talk about um what kind of uh stuff we would want in our packs. Um, yeah, I would not ask so much for a sleeping bag because I am pretty used to the cold, so I can I can deal with that. Um, rope would be nice though. Yeah, rope would be very nice because it's good for trapping things and also I could tie myself to a tree so I don't fall out when I try to sleep. Um, yeah, maybe a fishing pole, but, you know, if I have rope, that's pretty damn easy to come by. Okay, so, um, maybe also a water purifier, just in case, um, you know, I'm not near water. Um, as far as weapons go, though, um, well, I was on the golf team when I was in high school, so, you know, I'm, I'm pretty good with a club, so, you know, a club, or an axe, or a mace, you know, a knife might be helpful, but, you know, I can always use my teeth, good at that, um, I also do not have any problem with hair pulling, so... Yeah. Um, <laughs> Rings are always an extra hurt. Thank you. Thank you. Go away. <laughs> As you can see, someone has decided to join us. Um, Elizabeth, dishes? Okay, Al, I'm fighting to the death here. I don't need dishes. Cast iron frying pan, come on! What the fuck do I need a frying pan for? Wow, knock him over the head! Knock them out! Al, I do not want 
to use a frying pan as a weapon. I'd rather use a golf club. Cast iron frying pans work too. Golf club, longer reach. Okay, are you talking wood or iron? Iron. Iron doesn't have that much of a reach. You get a nice titanium Let driver that's going to have more reach and more effect. Anything will work as long as I have a longer reach than the other dipshit. Um. I'm trying to think what else. I would not choose a bow and arrow. I have crap aim when it comes to that. I, I've tried many times. No, not for me. Yet I'm, she can hit her brother with a ball from about a block away. Yeah, I can throw things, so I wouldn't really need a weapon to provide that for myself because I could just pick up a rock and bean someone over the head with it. So give me a club of some sort. Maybe a blow gun so I could, like, shoot darts at people full of poison and a stuff. Bat? Um, Or, you know, a rock. I like rocks. A bat? I don't need a bat. Boom. Nail the rocks at people. This is the future, Al. Oh. Who's to say they have bats? Okay. You're talking about the future? Well, you I haven't mean, even read the books. Go away. I you mean, can participate in this conversation when you've read the books. Well, give me the first book. Okay, I'll get it from Amanda, but you said you didn't want it until the 19th. Well, I I, oh, you were... Oh, Amanda's got the first book? Yeah. Oh. Okay, well, then I can wait. <laughs> Clubs work. I, I'm so much better at close range combat than, you know, long range. Uh, mostly because I have older brothers. <laughs> and uh, they kind of taught me, when you fight, you fight to win. You don't hold back and uh, aim for the eyes. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> um, I, I don't know how well I would do. Probably not so well because, you know, the diabetes and all, but... Disregarding that, um, I, I might do a little bit of fighting at the cornucopia, but, uh, I don't know. I might just, you know, grab the first thing I see and hide, because hiding's good, if I, especially if I have rope, so I can, you know, get myself in a tree and just tie myself to a top branch so no one can see me and, you know, settle down for a few days. <laughs> um... Yeah. That'd be nice. Uh, there's so much going on here. Um so yeah, I'm I'm gonna go. Uh uh Yeah, I'm I'm definitely gonna go. So I will see ya eventually. And Maggie, we will see you tomorrow. The FDBA.